Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. And I'm up here by the Atlas Observatory because this time, after I explored a bunch of stuff down here, I wanted to head up and check out and see what some of these spots were. Probably stay away from that because that's a uh, Scorch Beast location, I think. Anyhow, I'm just going to follow the road here. Check out any locations I come across. I guess there's still some stuff back behind me that I haven't been to yet, but uh, I've been wanting to check out this area for a while now, so. Looks like we've got <coughs> three locations up here. Or four. Can't really see. I think three. Veering off the road a bit, but that's alright. Just make sure we're not going too far. Okay. Good. Let's hit the uh, furthest, but the, the rightmost one first. That one just looks like one of those uh, radio facilities for calling in airdrops, supply drops. Still haven't found a right leg for my T60. It's funny because up until the level where I could actually use it, I was finding T60s left and right. Now that I have it, I haven't seen a single one. I mean, I know where they spawn, I could go get one, but... By the law of averages, I would have thought I would have came across some. Eh, it looks like, uh... What the hell is that marker? Hmm. I'm gonna go to this one first. Please don't be off a huge cliff. Campsite, something. Campground, maybe. Something burning over here. Looks like a campground. Oh. Ah, uh, the Scorch. They're always there. <clears throat> Just a burning tent. Oh. Dead settler. I do need shotgun shells, that's for damn sure. I had that awesome shotgun and I just ran out of ammo for it. That's why I have uh, my sniper rifle and my laser rifle and railway rifle. Ammo is real easy to make for this gun. You just need uh, steel. <clears throat> Logging camp, huh? I do need to use this cooking apparatus. Oh god. I hate free aiming of bugs. Especially flying ones. Since I'm just going to be running around while I can pick up a bunch of stuff, can afford to be a bit encumbered. Hard hat, dead logger. Lots and lots of wood here. <sighs> Syringer ammo, no thanks. I don't know if I actually have that one. I picked up a plan uh, an episode or two ago also. <coughs> so let's see what I got that I haven't used yet. Portable toilet. <laughs> nice. Uh, didn't have it. Nice. Alright. Oh, let's equip these. 
Get out and use the old cooking thing. to omelet. Mm. Okay. <sighs> well, I guess let's go back over to this radio spot. place is pretty close too, but there wasn't the radio it was up here. <clears throat> uh oh, oh there's a mutant. As always, turrets. Yep, yeah, relay tower. Ah, shit. Oh, he's got a minigun. One of them does. As what? Oh boy. Uh-uh. I've almost got a crit. Yep. Shit, stop moving, you stupid mutant. Alright. I'm gonna try to save my stim packs. I'm starting to run lower on them. I have a lot of. <coughs> Damn it, excuse me. I have a lot of what I need to actually craft stim packs, except for blood bags. I keep forgetting I need to uh, pick those up. Damn, how tough is this bastard? There. Use a bit of rad away. These, why not? Oops. Let's see if I can heal with that. I'm sure, there's still some more turrets outside. There always is. Pretty sure I've got all these marks already. Oh, I don't have that. What is that? And why can't? Okay, ammo dump. Sure, I've got the other ones, yeah. Don't really want to call. Ooh, don't really want to call on a supply drop. Get rid of these turrets, I suppose. There we 
go. Maybe one more. Not. Okay. Down to whatever this is. Oh, this is the Sons of Dane compound. <clears throat> There's gonna be a lot of mutants here. Unless someone's cleared it out, maybe I should check. Seems like people like to come over here and farm. Grind, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's ghouls. Really? Last time I was here, it was just a ton of mutants. Sons of Dane, come. Ghoul knows I'm here. Hiding from him. He's on the case. It's all ghouls, that's oh, kind of another story. Oh dear, oh dear. Stutters like crazy. Well, I think I'm actually gonna check the house first. I know that this is a potential place for power armor. Including T60, so maybe I'll find my leg piece here. Still, also don't really know much about the story of the Sons of Dane, so I would <clears throat> be interested in finding some lore in here. What the hell? Why is it all not? Oh, you're a nuke code out there somewhere. Blood pack. I gotta remember to keep blood packs. He's upstairs. Yep. Had enough fighting mutants last episode. I'm, or episode before last. So I'm happy to fight these. Dane Rogers is terminal. Yes, yes, I know. It's better ways than oh. Sons of Dane Communications. The beginning. Brothers, I want to welcome you all to the beginning of our very important movement, a movement that will lead us to being truly free from the oppressive grip of a government that is no longer on the side of the people. Clarksburg has taught us a er, Clarksburg taught us a valuable lesson. No longer can we sit complacent and wait for our armed men to break us apart, seize our land, or murder <coughs> pardon me, murder our ranks in cold blood. The Sons of Dane recognize no government that continues to drive hold on. The Sons of Dane recognizes no government that continues to drive our great nation into the abyss and will fight to the death for what is rightfully ours. This compound represents more than the land it sits upon. It represents freedom. It represents opportunity. After the inevitable collapse of organized society as we know it, it will represent the future. Join me tonight at the Buck's Den, brothers. Join me for an evening of food, entertainment, Debauchery and drunken revelry. Join me to celebrate a day of glorious rebirth as the sovereign citizens of the Sons of Dane. Oh, great. Militia. <clears throat> supplies. Dang, we just got off inventory of the supplies we got from the gentleman who generously donated his land to the cause. We got plenty of water, but we got plenty of water, but we're going to need a lot more food if we're going to survive in the bunkers for any, few, any meaningful amount of time. And a shitload more poos if we're going to do it without killing each other. Our journey, re journey to self-sufficiency starts today. Weaker men would stock up at the Red Rocket Mega Stop down the road, but we are not weak men. I'll see you in the hunting grounds, brother. Ari, how long? Brother, you're a free man like the rest of us, so if you, you can do what you like. But if you fuck with the compound while we're gone, I'll kill you myself. Oh, two. Boss, Jackson said he was going to get crammed together in the same bunker 
that we was gonna get crammed together in the same bunker when the bombs hit until it's safe to go outside. What? I can't just stay out. I can't just stay out here. I won't miss mess with nothing while you guys are gone. I welcome you to the new world, a world free of government that works against the people. We under we went underground as slaves and have now emerged as free men. We have much to do. We have food, water, and now even power. But we must focus on more than survival. We must thrive in this new world. We've been given an opportunity to be the men we were truly meant to be. This will mean hard work for everybody, but nothing great in life ever comes without true dedication. Tonight we celebrate the Buck's Den to the future. Guard duty. Boss, listen, you know I'm a loyal soldier. I've been with the Sun since the beginning and I've done everything you said with no complaining. And I'm real grateful that you saved all of our lives and all that by letting us, uh, getting us underground when the bombs hit. I know I done brought the... Uh, I feel like I should be doing this in a southern accent. I know I done brought this up three times now, but can I please switch away from the night shift guard post at the west gate? I'll do whatever it takes. It's just that I swear there's something out here at night. Something out to get me. It's real fast and it makes real these crazy noises. Every morning I see these animal corpses completely gutted, like something's eating them raw. Ain't no hunter or bear gonna jack them up that bad. I told Vern and he said I was just making this up so I can party at the Buck's Den with everyone else at night. That's bullshit. There's something out here and nobody believes me. Surviving so long underground won't be shit if we all get eaten by some crazy night demon. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of raiding here, I can already tell. First dead. We were partying in the in Buck's Den beer hall when the things but the thing busted its way inside. It was late, real late. The lights were low and most of us had passed out. It grabbed Jackson by the leg and swung him against the wall, smashing his brains out before he even had a chance to shout. I swear, I put six bullets into the thing, but it didn't drop. By the time we got the lights back, Jackson's body and the creature were all gone. All that was left was a pool of blood. It's been a while since what happened to Jackson. A week, maybe ten days. We heard scraping on the barn wall and we knew the thing was out there, hungry. Paul yelled at Vern to cut off the damn music, but Vern wasn't there no more. The creature pulled his dumb ass right out, right through a window. We readied our guns, but Vern must have been enough. It's picking us off one by one. I decided enough is enough. We need to track that son of a bitch down and end it before we all end up like Jackson and Vern. Angie's the best damn tracker in Appalachia, and if it didn't take and it didn't take long to spot the creature's path. We followed the tracks for a while, then it just ended like the thing vanished. Now I'm starting to think this thing ain't dumb. Maybe it wanted us to follow it to see how many of us there were before we, uh, bef ugh. we decided to go to the back to get back to the compound before dark. So Angie's jamming on her guitar around midnight when our hunter busted in. She cracked it over the head with her six string, but it just got pissed. Tore her chest open in one clean swipe, like getting a deer. We opened fire, but just like before, it was gone. So was poor Angie. Thing keeps hitting us after dark, and the suns are now calling it the Night Stalker. Whatever it is, we need to kill it before we all end up as its food. <clears throat> calling all hunters. Jackson, Vernon, Angie, and now Clem and Beaks. The Night Stalker to decide to take two more suns from the beer hall tonight. There's only a handful of us left, and I don't know how to stop it. We're gonna If we don't do something fast, the sons of Dana are going to be worm food. I'm going to set up a message and broadcast it for help. We need a serious hunter to take down the Night Stalker. We need one fast. <clears throat> okay. Mode door control. Hold on, I got. Is there someone fucking here? I just heard a door open like someone's here, but I don't see him on my map. Probably someone here farming power armor. I guess. Nope. It was this guy that opened the door. <laughs> oh, he's gone. No more silo code. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> okay. I heard there was supposed to be power armor that shows up down here, and it's not here. Bummer. Guess I could have really dug having that. Eat a right leg. It's a crossbow. But. Alas, it's not here. Figures. Okay, well. Done with the house. Got some of the story as to what happened here. I wonder what the hell was killing these people. <clears throat> Ooh, 
ghouls. All right, let's go check these barns. Firing range. Uh, here's the beer hall. to draw attention to a predator than to make a bunch of noise and get trashed in a place like this. There's a full band thing here. That's cool. Getting lots of stuttering. I'm not sure why. Zones. Food. Oh, it actually tells you if you know them now. That is a good update. It didn't used to be like that. I used to have to just guess if I had them or not. <clears throat> Got a banjo. Mm. Guitars. Snare drum. What's this? Here's a list of what seems to attract the Night Stalkers in the hall. We'll put this info to use when we put out the nightly call. Playing music on the instruments, blasting the jukebox, swinging around those instrument weapons, poly raked up and bashing ferals with them. <coughs> Excuse me. Killing stuff, it seems to love fresh blood. Being drunk, I think it can smell the alcohol on us. Don't do any of this stuff till nighttime when we're ready to face it. <laughs> we'll kill that Night Stalker once and for Brilliant. One of these people all got killed. Fucking morons. What do we got? <laughs> what the hell? Just a shooting range. <coughs> Damn it. Ugh, last few days cough going on. Uh, more ghouls. Of course. Whoa! Do some weird shit with their arms sometimes. Ah, great. Let me guess. Yep. This time or this place every single time. I I don't know what the hell's down there. People don't even try to be creative anymore. They just nuke that same spot over and over. Anyways, won't be able to see it from here. Attention citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. It's getting to be that like every single time I'm on someone nukes that spot. Thank you for your cooperation. Some guard towers. Kinda of bummed the power armor wasn't there. It's supposed to be in the basement of the house. Got another terminal here. Plasma cartridge is nice. Why are things like not stacked? That's one. Polly Keith's term. <clears throat> oh wow, here we go. Entry. This homestead sure is one hell of a find. Isolated, defensible, and abandoned. All we had to do was march in and grab the place. It's as if someone left it left us a gift. Dane said we should move in right away. By the time the authorities figure out what we've done, we'll be dug in and ready for action. 
We took a note and we all agreed. Oh, took a vote and we all agreed. This is where the Sons of Dane are planting their flag. <clears throat> oh, this was just a few weeks. Well, yeah, before the bombs. We set up hunting parties to bring food into the compound. The Sons of Dane did not shop at the grocery store. Our goal is establishing a 100% self-sufficient community. There's fresh water nearby and the woods are fully stocked with game. The storm comes and society collapses, we will be ready. Dane said that we turn the old barn into a beer hall. We usually like to get rowdy outside by a bonfire, but we decide to keep things low key. <clears throat> Bringing the party indoors will make drinking easier, plus gives us a place to store the beer we've been hauling. This place is getting better by the day. The bo the, them bombs fell today. Society as we know it is done. Even after all the explosion, explosions and the shaking ground, our compound's safe. Dane, after all, his prophesizing in his speeches kept his word. He's delivered us from destruction. We decided to lay low for a few days and let the chaos die down before we explore our new world. Glad we stockpiled those hazmat suits. <clears throat> Week after. It hasn't taken us long to discover that living in this new world isn't going to be simple. The game we were depending on for food is gone. The fresh water tainted with radioactive poison. If we want to survive, our kind needs to adapt. Danes ordered us to pair up and find supplies, taking them using any means necessary to get what's ours. Now the fighting really begins. Right. Oh god, what's with the stutters? Really, really bad. Alright, one more trailer. Goes the nuke. Rip whatever just got blown up. My whiskey. Carl, if you you know anything about the barrel of whiskey I paid you for? About why the barrel of whiskey I paid you for tastes like piss? You get a little too drunk and mistake the still for the outhouse again? Probably, cause you, probably because you wouldn't know good hooch if it bit you in the behind, you old fool. You should go there. Just cells. Okay. Um. Curious what the hell was uh, killing these people. Well, I'm here. Let's see, do I have anything on me to get? Okay, let me see if I can make some more uh, <clears throat> ammo. Ah, not enough lead. Of course. Make more railway spikes now. Okay, never mind. I think that's it. This place. Just trying to think of a nice place to take a picture. Hey, guess in front of the house. Gotta have our pictures. Alright. I think we're done here. Little trailer marker over here. Not sure what that is. Check this tower too. Some ammo. Much else. All right. to a different weapon. What is this? No. Oh. Ammo dump. Right. <clears throat> it's promising. Kind of. Oh boy. Oh. 
wish this thing shot a little faster. Oh, there's our power armor here. And it looks like 60. And... There's no right leg. No right leg. Oh, it's 45. Okay. I'll leave that be. I don't need that. There one more turret. Could have sworn I heard another one. Okay. Guess not. Bit of food growing out here. Oh, Carol's note. Frank, you're not gonna believe this. There's a working suit of power armor in the Monaga plant. It's out of juice, but if I can get my hands on a fusion core, I'll walk back here. I'll walk it back here myself. I think Joanne mentioned she picked up a core somewhere. I just need to come up with a convincing reason why we need it. Can't let anyone know about that armor until it's in our loving care. Carol. Well, you got the armor. Then you died. Carol. Must be you. Should've got in the armor. A marine armor. Oh. Tempted to take that. Not sure if you can wear that under power armor, but I would like to <clears throat> get a full suit of that marine armor. It'd be pretty cool. Oh, alright. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot more here. Just, uh, scrap. Alright. Curious what this cave is down the way. Uh, I think it might be something nasty. Hopewell Cave. Not certain. But I have this feeling that there's something nasty in there. Uh, let's check it out anyways. I think I've seen this cave on someone's on Oxhorn's stream. I think it's got a death claw, at least one in it. I know that a little further down the road is a hot spot for picking up Scorch Beast. You can see the marker right there on the northeast. It's over by that pumpkin house that I've been to, but this is the only location in between where I've explored and where I haven't or all these areas I've explored and these areas I have that I haven't been to, so... Oh god, I hate these ticks. Hey, almost leveled up. Oh, I should, uh... I think I have a few super stims to do. How do you... Oh, I didn't want to use it. I want to know what key it is. Okay, it's four. Great. Not sure if this guy's coming this way or not. Oh, there is a... F it's not death clone. What the hell is that? Fog cr Oh, a fog crawler. Two of them. Fighting something else. Scorched. First time I've seen a fog crawler here. Let's get rid of him. Oh, there's another one right here. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh, now they uh, now they all see me. This is not good. Shit. So much for not using stim packs. Damn it, get away from me. Actually not hurt me that bad, surprisingly. But I'm not hurting it that bad either. Uh, 
Ooh, another one. Rip all my energy ammo. level black powder rifle. Where's the one I incinerated go? It's disappeared. Hold on a second. Left leg. Or right leg. Or left leg. Never mind. 45. 45. Okay, let's drop this one. Level 45 black powder. About damn time I found a new one. Okay, now. That is a... So, oh, skulking fog, fog crawler. Oh crap. Great. This is gonna be fun. What is with the stutters? This is really not fucking helping me. confused by the tree. How the hell did it hit me that far away? What the? It's like freaking lagging or something. Stay there. Whew. Jesus. Marine armor chest piece. Damn. Things drop some good loot. Where's this damn cave? There it is. Alright. So, let's see. No more laser rifle ammo. Bummer. Hopefully I don't attract the Scorch Beast here. I think I have to get in from the ground level. I think. Maybe not. Opel Cave. Ghouls out front. Let's hope there's ghouls inside too. Rather that than death claws. I'm so glad I found that that rifle. That's gonna be awesome. See if I can read this. Discovered in May of 1816, this cave appeared to be of some significance to the Native American Adena culture, which existed from 1000 to 200 BC. Anthropologists investigated at some length and found small bits of pottery and a few animal bones. Okay. Interesting. Whoa, cool looking cave. Well, looks like some people decided to take refuge in here. I don't feel... <laughs> I don't feel good about this at all, is what I was about to say. There's a bus! There's a bus! what you can use buses for. Cheesing out mobs. 
I'll run away, then I'll come back out. Just stay right there. Don't worry about it. Ow. He's pissed. We'll get him. Just gonna be slow. Oh, there's a fucking scorch piece here. Pardon me. I see not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Great. Well, now we're going back in this cave regardless. Maybe. Ow. Use the super stem. I'll be alright. Barely. Ah. Fuck you. Oh. Black titanium, hell yeah. Hold up. I think I might have enough black titanium now to finish my excavator armor. You know, which is awesome. Anthropologist's holotape. That was intense. Yeah, some people definitely came here after the war. Deathclaw eggs. Oh, it's a deathclaw nest. I don't want to stick around here, and that's for sure. Do you want to listen to this anthropologist, though? Oop. As my study of Hopewell Cave continues, I'm struck by the atypical nature of this Adena-based burial complex. The Adena culture generally buried their dead in large mounds and similar hill-shaped earthworks. Due to the primitive nature of the tools from 1000 to 200 BC, stone carving was not yet a part of their society. However, archaeologists who investigated this skull cave site removed remains and artifacts belonging to the Adena culture. I wonder if it's possible that the remains of the Adena people were moved to this location well after their society ceased to exist. For one culture to treat another's with such reverence is... It's unusual, at best. I will continue my research to discover more. Okay. Alright, well... Oh, there's a Scorch Beast there. I'm gonna just boogie on up the road. But I think I'm gonna stop this one here. And I think I know the area I'm going to go explore next time. This thing is going to come after me, isn't it? Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.